Did you know that every Christian Bible printed contains at least two milliliters of honey within its binding? This is part of the special containment procedures for SCP-5991. You see, if someone were to eat an entire Christian Bible without any condiments, that's what the honey's there to prevent, then they would summon SCP-5991-1. This pale, emaciated entity wearing a crown of thorns has no bodily orifices except for its toothless mouth. Once it appears, the entity unhinges its jaw and swallows whole the person who ate that Bible. Once the subject has arrived in the entity's stomach, which is bigger on the inside, they will find themselves in a Jesus theme park complete with food court, gift shop, and petting zoo. The park is empty, seemingly abandoned for years, and the subject is free to leave whenever they wish. But we'd rather no one go in the first place, wouldn't you agree? Excellent. Now just get it out of there without getting caught. Uh, even faster than the last one. Jeez. Hey, Steve. Requisition me a new D-class. Oh, and mark down D-1175 as Ginger Dead. Good one, sir. Why would you put pink sauce on the anomaly? Look, it smells. Goggles on, cadets. This anomaly plays distorted footage of Miss Betty Page from the 1955 film Teaserama on a continuous loop, despite not being plugged in and within a Faraday cage. This is a great time to remind you that object class safe means easily contained, not not dangerous. This object is a predator. Those who look upon its screen without proper protection are entranced and can't look away. While the prey is enraptured, the entity, a sort of physical holographic projection, appears behind the subject and begins to redacted them. It took us three days to clean the data expunged off the walls the last time a researcher forgot their goggles for a test. But not to fear. No one would be foolish enough to watch this footage without goggles, would they? The Foundation has numerous sources of revenue. For instance, this is where we harvest the TikTok pink sauce. Dr. Blue gave me this hat and threw me on the lawn. Mm -hmm. He said it's outdoor therapy. And? I'm not sure why, but I don't feel like curing existence. They said that I was crazy. They said it couldn't be done. But look here, some of my best work. Echo One, what in blazes is going on out there? I don't know, Doc. We heard the words, make my monster grow, and then this stick fell out of the sky, and now it's over. Look out, we got incoming, move, move! Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no! Who got out this time? Ah, oh, ready to get schooled, huh? This time. Oh, squishy! Oh, this come on! Squishy? Oh, I had my money on stone bread. Sherman, you owe me five dollars. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think you're adorable. <laughs> hey, what did I tell you about flirting with the anomaly? I thought I heard something in my basement. I'm really scared. Try the jingle. If you came here to kill me, clap your hands. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Good choice. I think it's so funny. Well, hold up, hold up. Say something. You okay? No, I'm not okay. Where did I go just now? What are you talking about? Where oh, am I fascinating. In real time? Right now, These where characters have realized that they are in a fictional narrative. This is, this this is, is a weird. study of pataphysics, and it's yeah, very rare that someone exactly actually terrible. discovers that they're fictional. <laughs> I don't like this. Or that the knowledge is contagious. Like oh my. I don't know. It's very nice that this isn't something that happens to us, isn't it? Wait, where are you? No, I'm ah. real. Oh, what now? Free hugs! I'm getting so free hugs! I'm the house, completely free! Are you daft? Yeah, I'm stupid enough to fall for that, right? I stand corrected. Free hugs! Disposal free hugs. crew! Oh yeah! So, you're confident. You're confident this test will make the tree scream finally. All right, the floor is yours. Begin when you're ready. I mean, you can hurry it up. I've got places to be. Growls don't count. It's made. We're pranking Mr. Deeds today. Reveal. We need to serve the tea. Come on, notice it. There you go. <laughs> I had to slip clap a 20 to get that thing transferred from Site 19. And the second one. No, no, no. You put the object with the pole, and then presto, we've saved Dr. Blue's bachelor party. The question is, how would I go about this? Like, how, how do I apply for this character? Oh, that's a complicated topic, but I'm going to try to answer as fast as I can. There's three sections. The wiki section, the TikTok section, and your character specifically. 
If you want to be the highest kind of official, I mean canon, you need to go the wiki route. You need to sign up for an account. You need to read the rules. You need to read the guides. You need to write your article, get critique, post it, survive the community vote, and if it survives, you're canon. I mean, as canon as anything on the wiki is, there is no canon after all. But maybe you're not worried about being canon. Maybe you just want to have fun doing cosplay on TikTok. And in that case, the SCB TikTok route is a lot easier. For every canon character in a fandom, there's a million OCs on the internet, and that's all most of SCB TikTok is. Most of us aren't canon. I am because I'm an author on the wiki, but I don't think Dr. Blue is canon. I don't think a lot of people are canon. There isn't even some governing body of SCP TikTok. We're all just separate creators who make SCP content and became friends because we're on each other's algorithms. And that means there is no application process. There's just making better and better content until fans and or creators notice your content, like it, and interact with you. Content making is difficult. I mean, go look at my SCP OC tips playlist if you want some help with that. And getting noticed is hard. I have 2.9 million followers. It's a miracle I found your post on this. Enough people tag me in the comments. Now for your character specifically, I'm going to tell you, I am a believer that anything can be a good story if written well, but that doesn't mean it's always easy and your character is going to be an uphill battle. Let alone the war between the camps of the Foundation does not use anomalies at all. The Foundation uses anomalies to contain other anomalies, but they do not have anomalous staff, or the Foundation allows anomalies to be on staff. That's a whole big debate on its own. But you said the words omnipotent, reality jumping, you're basically the Watcher? That sounds OP as hell. Way too overpowered. Mary Sueish, or Gary Stewish, I guess. Overpowered characters that can snap their fingers and solve their problems don't have conflict, and that means that it's not very interesting for the viewers, it's just kind of a power fantasy for the writer. It kind of reminds me how half of SCP cosplayer comments are just people pretending to be the overseers and ordering us around because they want to pick the most powerful character. But I only know what you told me in this video, which isn't a whole lot, so maybe you've got an angle I don't know about. Give it a try, make some videos, and if it doesn't work, try something else. See what happens, and hopefully we'll see you on SCP TikTok. You're saying that alongside Markiplier and Jacksepticeye, you were the third founder of Cloak? That's right, Doc. I, Cloaky, am the real brains behind the brand. But for some reason, no one seems to remember me. In fact, sometimes it feels like I can't even remember myself. I'm scared. Fascinating. Beyond being a sentient artificial intelligence, you may have anti-memetic properties. We at the Foundation have tests and containment procedures for entities such as yourself, but that testing may take a considerable while. No worries, Doc. All right, Cloaky, time for today's test. Send to the D-Class. Hey, Doc, I think I'm remembering something. Watch this. Hey, what? The entity has reality bending abilities outside of virtual space. We may need to upgrade the entity's designation to Keter. <laughs> That's not all, Doc. <laughs> Cloaky, the Overseers have designated you Keter. You are to be moved to maximum containment immediately. The Overseers don't have a say anymore, Doc. No one can stop my master plan now. Not even the Foundation. Hey! What in the... F nice. I mean, what is your purpose with making me stylish yet comfortable? Haven't you heard, Doc? I'm going viral. Now no one will be able to forget me ever again. <laughs> Recently, the team behind SCP InfoHazard has been using Midjourney AI to... That's that VR software. game I'm working on with Today these guys, isn't that dope? Dark for a foundation scientist. So you use the keyword, tall scientist yelling in a lab coat. But you can also give Midjourney AI images for inspiration. So I needed this one. Hmm. Let's read the results. Sure, Luigi gets a solid B, but what is wrong with that right hand? Smash. Pouring buried in paperwork, Sherm gets a D. Pass. I'm writing legs for days, Sherm mm -hmm. is a... Smash. No, we'll give it a B. I love this weird spooky stack. I'm gonna get to an A. Whoa, pass. Sherm has been drawn by Pixar and gets a solid A. Pass. Sherm has been drawn by Edward Gorey and gets a C. Pass. That's not Sherm. That's three kids in a Sherm suit. Get Hard pass. pass. This is probably one of my favorites. Just his expression mm. alone. Smash. Smash. He, looks, <laughs> he looks like a Muppet. Smash. That's an A. Sherm does Shakespeare. Smash it. Shakespeare. And let's, of course, not forget Sherm Casso also gets an A+. Asp. And last, I just really love the detail on this one, so A++. Looks like a smoker's oh, cough, I pass. Sherms or something, I don't know. Oh no! There's Melanie. That's a shame, she's really nice. You saw nothing. Get back here! What is that noise outside? Oh god, it's here too. This memetic effect has been spreading to all the sites. Over at Site 19, 096 is doing it, 049 is doing it, 682 took an entire wing out with its arrhythmic gyrations. 
Uh oh, Samson's backed into a corner. I don't want to play your games anymore. You're uh, late. Have some dignity, man. You're whinging like you're in the UIU. I trade you your bones for this. Oh no. You make trade. Huh? You make trade. I like my bones. No, I, you give me your bones. Your bones for this. No, no, yes. I, I, I. Come, no, come I, I, come I have access to the come internet. On. I know this is a bad come idea. On. No, Please, no. Come on, I, come I, on. Thirsting after the anomalies again, huh? I'm putting this on your record. And next time, you're getting Keter duty. And not with that one! Think you're an SCP, huh? What makes you anomalous? <laughs> Holy digital prestidigitation! Let's get you a cell. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.